This is where they try to get you because they want you to be Mr. Nice Guy and they're tugging at your heartstrings. Little do they know, I got no heartstrings. <laughs> yo, 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 everybody. Snack B here. Welcome back to another episode of Beholder. All right, so where we last left off, we got to talk with all these people and find out that which is hidden will be revealed because we want to know more about Klaus Schimmer, Schwimmer, um, which is, okay, that's that one. So they live in apartment one. So let's, let's knock on apartment one. No, no, first, no, oh, let's look. Who dare now? Aha, uh -huh, yes. So we'll, we'll do a little knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Anybody home? It's open, babe. Come on in. All right, oh, new government directive has been received. Singing is prohibited, oh ho. Okay, I would like to, well, okay. I, I guess I'll talk with you. Hello, get acquainted. Uh-huh, my name is Klaus Schimmer. You managed a building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager had already turned into drunk, uh, junk. I hope you can fix this, I'll do my best. Aha, okay. Ask about the apartment. Did the house belong to you? That's right. It used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for gifted children, but it was converted into a residence hall instead. This isn't so bad. Uh, you haven't seen the living quarters on level D. You're right. The situation could be worse. At least we're free. One can play chess at liberty. This is expensive. All right. Oh, I want to talk. I want to still talk to you. Hey. hey. Hello! Okay, uh, ask about books. You're an educated person, Klaus. Where can I find textbooks on economics? The university gave my son a list of books to read, but none of the stores carry them. The library is an option, but the line is always really long. Oh, the issue with the library is well known to me. It's not just the lines. The library workers also have to like you. Otherwise, they'll send you away without any explanation. But I can help you. I have books from when I worked for the Counting Bureau. I'd be happy if they helped your son study. Everyone should pursue a higher education. Too bad few people agree. Hey, you saved my son. Thank you, Klaus. Oh, and you gave it to me. Okay. Uh, and not only my son, but my wallet too. Okay, uh, ask about a saucepan. Do you have a saucepan suitable for making a compote? You better talk to my wife, Maria. I don't know anything about household issues or dishware. I have to work in a tobacco shop now. The ceilings are so low, I have to tilt my head. I used to work as a senior e economist. Those days are long gone. All right. Ooh, ask about the suspicions of this. Should I do that? Clouds are piling up. I'll probably be accused of selling anti-government tobacco. Are you mixed up with something? It's all about the apartment. I refused to give them up and was accused of horrible things. All right. All the best, Carl. Well, he seems like a nice dude. Let's uh, let's go wrap on this. This is where Mark and Rosa hang out, I, I believe. Open up. That's the landlord. Oh, God, I'm out of bed. <laughs> Who this guy? This is apartment three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rosa. Yeah, yeah. Where's your wife, though? Huh, huh. Okay, I have to talk with you, dude. Whoa, what do you want from the archivist? Uh, saucepan? You have a big saucepan. My wife wants to make up a compote. My wife usually cooks soup, but to be honest, her saucepan is rather small. Okay. Uh, ask about Klaus Schimmer Schwimmer. I want to ask you about Klaus Schimmer Schwimmer. What do you want to know? Tell the truth. Give a vague reply. I don't know anything you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is a terrible sin. I had a co-worker who always poking his nose into other people's business and documents. What happened to him? He was sent to jail. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. Oh, dude, you dead. I'm, you about to get it from me, dude. Okay, we have to talk with with Rosa Rennick, but where she be? Where she is be? 
That's her right there. We know she likes to bake. I bet she's going to be the girl. But where she be is? Hmm. Okay, that's that guy. He's fine. Who are you? Oh, okay. He's the uh, trader guy? My compliments. Let's, let's see what kind of... What are you selling today? Take a look. It's in a book. A hole. Okay, so aspirin. Uh-huh. Our beloved leader. Screwdriver. A blue tie? Chocolate bar? Okay, no, I'm fine. I don't need none of that business. Ooh, I could sell those books for 750 bucks, though. Oh, let's give them to the, to the boy. Since we're here. Might as well give it to him. Where you at, boy? Come here. Oh, dude, that's the girl. Yes, father? Uh, about the school books. Have you found out anything about the books, father? Here are your books. Wow, I'll get to work. I've never dreamed of such wealth. I might not go to the rat's nest after all. To the library, I mean. Okay. So she's she just went down here. Oh, good. We get to talk to her right down in my own basement. Mm -hmm. Hello. Ask about saucepan. Can you do me a favor? Can I borrow a saucepan? My wife wants to make a compo, but we lost our saucepan while moving in. I have a suitable saucepan. Here it is. Sweet. Thank you. We'll bring it back. What'd she say? There's no need for this. My husband and I live alone, and we don't touch this. Please accept this as my housewarming gift. This is where they try to get you. Because they want you to be Mr. Nice Guy, and they're tugging at your heartstrings. Little do they know, I got no heartstrings. I'm Jenny the Jerk. Right? So, hey, I need to talk to you, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, ask about the husband. How's your husband doing? He looked upset. He doesn't feel well. He received a parcel containing a reel of film. Klaus likes taking photos. This will cheer him up. Oh, does he now? Does he now? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give my beautiful wife. She's so pretty. Look at her. <laughs> but she don't like me. What, Carl? Uh, talk about saucepan. Have you found the saucepan, Carl? I've prepared everything for the compote. Yes, Maria Shimmer from Apartment One saved us. Spare no sugar for the compote. It looked like water last time. It looks like water because we have neither sugar nor apples. It's not my fault that you couldn't get a provision card for sugar. Cheer up, sweetheart. Now we have enough sugar. Okay. So we've done that one. What are we missing now? Martha lost her doll. Oh, yeah. And she said it was somewhere around here, maybe. So let's do a quick search Maru. Uh huh. Oh, look at all this business. Okay, don't need that. All right. Do a little search job as quick as we can. We'll search this room, and if it's not around in here, then we'll keep keep trucking a comb. All right. And okay, what is this? What do you want to know about me? Aha! We've collected that he likes to take photos. Okay. Search, search, search. Ooh, towels. Okay, that's not gonna help, is it? Oh, let's search this chair, I guess. Where's your stupid dolly? Okay, no. Whoa, Snip 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 that's Rosa. Okay, she's a sweet old lady. Oh, no. Let's see. Is she coming out right now? It's hard to remember who's who in the zoo with this stuff. Uh, let's go... Let's go up and... and no, I guess I'll just look. Cause if there's no one out there... There's no one there. Maybe I'll use the key really quick. I want to... 
I might, uh, let's buy a couple. Cause I've got, I've got the money. I'm gonna, ins I'm gonna install some cameras. Oh, we gotta keep an eye out. Who, it, who that is? Who's coming? Nobody. Oh, they, how dare they have a heater? How dare they? Okay, nothing. We have 25 hours left to do all this. Stamps, book. Ooh, very valuable. Okay. Uh-oh, hello? Someone coming? We'll investigate this as we go. Uh-oh, uh oh they're, they're here. Get out. Get out. Get out while the getting's good. That's her right there. Okay, close that door. Okay, and let's talk with Rosa. Excuse me, miss. I need to talk with you for one moment. I need to talk about your husband. Good afternoon. Mm-hmm. Get acquainted. Hello, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Carl, the new building manager. My name is Rose Rannick. It's nice to meet you. You must have met my naughty husband. <laughs> we have a son, too. He's just like you. He lives in the capital. Huh. I want to ask you about Klaus Schimmer. Does he bother you? He's a person of worth. He helped me acquire a nice bottle of Zeris. Ooh. He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. Oh, who? Okay, hold on. I want to talk to you about it. Uh, ask about the son. Our dear boy has become a has became a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. Let's ask about your husband. Mark has been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. Okay. Uh huh. So we've done things now. We now know that he is a wine steward. Uh-huh. I must profile Klaus, Sch Klaus Schimmer. Let's go back here. And now we also know that he likes fishing and he collects the stamps. Okay, got a profile old Klaus. Which is fine because we need to search for the dolly as well. I have to talk to her one more time and ask her. She's, she's. I seem to recall she said where she, where she last played, but I don't remember. Don't remember where. Okay, so we gotta profile him. So you go here. Profile attendant. Okay. So, Klaus Schlimmer. He lives in apartment one. He is a male. Marital status, he lives with Maria Shimmer, right? Yep. Occupation, he's a tobacco salesman. Okay, and personal information about him. Right? Personal information. We know he plays chess. We know he likes his pictures, and we know that much. And I am sending it. A boom! New government directive. It is illegal to use foreign currency. Well, hell, hell. Okay, call. Call the ministry and report the thing. All right. So now we'll call the ministry. Hello. Someone said this is like this. This war of mine meets uh, papers, please, and it totally is. Ministry of order. It's time to act, Comrade Carl. You must evict Klaus Schlemmer. Ooh, okay, Act about. ask about the wife. What will happen to his wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. <gasps> oh, dirty. Ask about the eviction methods. How can I evict him? Talk with Schlemmer. We'd be fine with him moving out. It would be better if you report him when he violates our directives. This is your duty, Comrade Carl. This is your duty, Comrade Carl. Okay. I understand. Talk with you later. Ah, oh, so now I have... Find a way to evict him. And if I can evict him 
by busting him, then we're good. So, uh, next up, where's the little girl? Let's try to f finish this up really quick. Where's she at? She's sleeping. Wake up. Well, let me search the bed. Because we only have... Okay, you're not there. Probably already searched this, and I don't remember. Nice, Dan. As soon as she gets up, I'm gonna talk to her one more time. And I don't think I checked this chair because there's people in the way. Hey, there's the dolly. Take it. Found it. Okay, just since I'm in the neighborhood. And a rubber ducky. Okay, we're fine. Our stuff is good. We don't have to worry about us. Okay, wake up, little girl. Wake up, baby girl. All right, let's let's do a little peeky, sneaky peeky, bong. Okay, she's in there, so we can't do anything quite yet. Oh, he's got. Let's knock on the door, cause this guy has something he wants us to do. Interesting. Oh yeah, see, look, we can watch this happen, and if anything. If they do anything wrong, then we can straight up bust them. Hello! Me. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl the Landlord. I'm honored. I'm Dr. Aloysius Speck, a physician. You must have heard about me. The entire city did. I've never... Oh, uh, of course I've heard of you. Please don't praise me. I was just doing my duty. Just doing my duty. Duty. And that's great. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing. You're very busy. Okay, how's it going? Are you okay? Oh, busy, busy, busy. Patients fight over me. Are you a doctor? That's the real one. Don't you doubt it. I can cure even a healthy man. <laughs> I'd say especially healthy. Any education? Are you kidding? I've dedicated my life to treating people. Your doubts hurt me. Sorry, this is a demanding job. How can you, dear? Oh, coffee maker going off. Here's a good way for you to relax. Just be reasonable. Oh, you just gave me some of the whiskey. If the whiskey don't kill me. Uh-huh, your solitude. Do you want to talk? I have a request. A very private one. I'm all ears, Aloysius. Due to the demands of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Saving people 24-7 is my civic duty. I know it's hard to believe that looking at me, but I'm very shy around women. I'm confused and blushing, and every inch of my extremely gifted self is sweating profusely. And what can I do, get you some deodorant? Your wife is amazing, Carl. You clearly know a lot about dealing with women. I'm lonely. Find me a woman, Carl. She'd be a good woman to have in the bedroom and in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I could do that, but... Uh, find him a girlfriend. How in the heck am I going to find a girlfriend? There's no single ladies in this place, is there? Oh, here we go. Let's read. Uh-huh, philosophy books, yep, we know about that. Oh, oh, I just seen something. What is this? Young, pretty, socially attractive women would like to meet, a uh, socially attractive girl would like to meet a well-to-do man for a serious relationship. Call 237-451. Call, be, you'll be glad you did. Okay, 237-451. I hope I don't have to actually remember that. Okay, let's, uh... Let's make a call, I guess. Do I call that? Oh, or do, or wait, do I just tell him? Maybe? Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. Hello. Talk about loneliness. Uh -huh. Anyone? I found a girlfriend for you. I found one. Who is she? Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, I guess I have to... Oh, dude, she's, is she out? Oh, is there anybody? Is there anybody in her place now? Let me let me do a check, Ernie. 
Nobody's in there. Okay. Well, we know what we must do. We're in. We're in Lake Flynn. I'm gonna buy one big one. Uh huh. Okay, and I guess let's buy one, two. Oh, that's all I can buy right now. Ooh. Okay, well, let's buy a, a little guy. We'll install a little guy, so that'll cover like all the bases, I guess. Mm-hmm, that'd be pretty good. And then there's one. He okay, that's just my boy. We're fine. We're gonna install one of those guys. Uh-huh, okay, now let's get to searching. Okay, blue shirt, wallet, book. Famous novel, it's just more propaganda, I don't think. Okay, are we okay? We seem to be all right. Nothing. Oh, and they got a TV. Oh ho! What do we? It's illegal to own these books. Busted! Oh, you so busted! Oh, he's corresponding with someone who lives abroad. That's wrong. He's an artist. Okay. Okay. Are we... Oh man, that was a good find right there. Oh no, I didn't say I didn't give the the thing to my little daughter. Oh no, poor girl. Well. They hate me now. I even found it. Okay, blue tie, toothbrush, handbag. <laughs> I don't want to steal nothing, I'm fine. Okay, keep an eye out, keep an eye out. Ah, uh, chest piece, man. Oh, 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 who that? Shrim Shrimmer, get out, get out, dude. We're out. Woohoo! Okay, what does it say here now? Ask me to find him a girlfriend. Okay, so let's, and we have to evict, evict the dude. Uh, so let's, let's go down to our place here. And I guess I use this phone. This is my special phone. None of the other phones you can actually call anybody. Okay, dial the number, dial this number. Yes. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm calling about your ad. Interesting. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> oh no, that's for a friend of mine. He's a bit shy, so I'm helping him with a private matter. Are you ready to meet a great doctor? A doctor? What is his name? Aloysius Sprack. Is he the one in the newspapers on the... The, the one... Whoa. whoa. <laughs> is he the one the newspapers mention? I need to think. Let me call you back in a couple hours, okay? Thanks, I'll be waiting for your call. All right, we need to we need to file a report now. Oh, this guy is out. Dude, he is dead meat. Write a report. Uh, okay, about Klaus Schimmer. Living in apartment number one. Violated directive number. Uh, I think it's this. Let me d double check here. Klaus has got the book. Yes. Okay, so it's directive number 6041. Oh, oh, cancel. Leave workplace. Leave workplace. Pick it up. Uh-huh. Pick up the phone. Accept a private call. Hello, Carl. It's, it's, oh, it's Clara. You called me a couple hours ago. I agree to meet your doctor. Give him my number and the secret word. Strawberries with cream. <laughs> Did you write it down? I'll be waiting for his call. <laughs> Strawberries with cream. Okay, what's the new directive? Imported soda is prohibited. Oh, man. Okay, let's write a report. All right. So busted now. Klaus, living in apartment number one. Violated directive. I think it's 6041. Double check. Yep. From... Oh! Oh, from the September 
because we have to know that as well. Jeez Louise, are you kidding me? Drag the materials, send it. It's sent. But da dun 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 Oh, super busted. Oh, the most busted anybody could possibly be right now. Get in there. <laughs> what is... Oh, he's searching. What are they... What's the M all about? They're like, you want some money? There it is. It's right in there. You found it. Da, 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 da. Oh, dude. Do you see that? You could totally put contraband and put it in somewhere and then blackmail them. That's awesome. I love it. Next time, I'm going to have to blackmail somebody. Oh, man! Boom! Boom! Get wrecked. Oh, yeah! Kick them all down. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy is so bad. It's so ruthless. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay, he's he's sleeping. We'll wake him up in a hot minute. I guess we'll wake him up now while we're while we're waiting, so I can tell him about his new girlfriend. <laughs> what am I? Am I a landlord? Am I a pimp? What's going on here? Stop! You're both right. Oh man! Oh, he's going, man. Why you gotta be such a jerk? And the music is amazing. Da 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 da. Yes! And he's out. Hello! Okay. Anyone? I found a girlfriend for you. Who is she? Um, the girl. I can't wait to meet her. The number is 237451. Call her. She's waiting. I'll, I'll call her today. But I need to gather my courage first. Can you find me a chocolate bar? It, it's not okay to show up for a date empty-handed. Okay, hold on. Oh, it even says pimp my bride. Is the achievement that got unlocked. Okay, uh, trade. I know you got one. You had one. Chocolate bar. I'll buy it. Okay, this will be good. Hey, hey. Dude, I'm going to give you a chocolate bar. Come on, dude. Yeah, come back here. What is this all about? Oh, man, we got it. We totally killed him. Okay. Hello! Talk about chocolate. Did you bring chocolate? I bought it. Great. I'm ready to go on a date. Ta-da! That's amazing. All right. Oh, now we have to call the ministry. So let's go call the ministry. And tell them we done did it. And that way we get paid. Get paid! Oh, and poor, poor what's or nuts is going to be Maria Schwimmer. Is all alone. Dial the number. Report a task. Min Ministry of Order. Congratulations. Your task was a success. For helping to catch a criminal, you're, you are rewarded $3,000. Good job, comrade. Your next task is to place propaganda banners in your building. We need to increase patriotism among your tenants. There is unrest in the city. Stay alert, comrade Carl. Booyah! Booyah! That's amazing! I love it. Everybody's frowny. Everybody's so upset, but I feel good about life. <laughs> All right, fellas, that's going to do it for me for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure and leave a like. Helps me out so very, very much. And until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Parsh.